Hey y'all. <laughs> oh, today I am having loads of Chinese food. <laughs> yes, I am. Loads and loads of Chinese food from China a go go. Um, yeah, you know, I've eaten Chinese food a few times in the last month or so, and <clears throat> I've been getting, you know, not on camera, obviously, but, um, and I wouldn't even really consider it a binge because I'll get the Chinese food and eat it for a couple of days. But, uh, this is what I've been getting. Usually the, um, uh, family dinner. And it's the family dinner A. Um, and it comes with two entrees. Oh, what is that? Two entrees. Uh, rice, fried rice, pork fried rice, specifically. <clears throat> oh my goodness, really? Okay, well that's new. Um, <clears throat> so it's typically like these three items, soup, and I've been getting the hot and sour soup, which is good. Uh, and this is two more fried rice. I wasn't expecting that actually. Because uh, with the family dinner, you just get the one fried rice. But today was a little bit different because Uber Eats had a special. And I couldn't resist the special <clears throat> because it was buy one, get one free walnut shrimp. And, you know, y'all know the walnut shrimp is like... It's gold. It's like the stuff. Okay, and here's the two crab rangoons and two egg rolls that come with the family dinner. So it's typically this. These four little items here. Um, and of course, well, five little items. And okay, interesting, interesting. And this is a little crunchy to go with the soup. Oh my word. <clears throat> Let me look at this. <gasps> Ooh. That was buy one, get one free. And you get the whole fried rice with it. So that's not bad. That's not a bad deal. I don't think it's a bad deal. So I have extra food. And what typically lasts me like two and a half days, you know, um, I've got the extra food, so it'll last me longer than that. Um, at least till Monday. Today's Friday, by the way. Uh, and I have sauces. I'm just taking everything out. You know, and y'all give the time stamp of when I start eating. That's fine. <clears throat> I have the spoons and all the forks. Really, huh? Definitely keeping the spoons. Those are those are nice. Oh, and I got napkins. <laughs> I'm excited for napkins. Oh, uh, and all of these utensils. Okay. Keep at least one fork out. Put that spoon over there. Okay. Oh, and I got a tati. A tati. Mm -hmm. Take the thing off of the soup. Mm -hmm. The hot and sour soup that they have is very delicious. And they have tons of meat in it. Not very many shrimp, like maybe one or two shrimp. But they've got a whole, whole lot of, um, a whole lot of, like, crab. Like the imitation crab meat. Ooh, and it's so hot right now. It is like steaming hot. Oh, mercy. Mm -hmm. Come here, Spoon. Like, I don't care about anything else right now. I was really craving this soup. And it's so thick. It's like really thick. Hmm. Oh, it's got, it's actually got a bunch of shrimp in it. Mm. 
and a big hunk of meat. Oh, and it's got tofu and some weird looking mushrooms. Okay, so I've got that. Um, <clears throat> might want to relocate a few things to my table back there. Oh, I can do that. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me, you guys. Let's see. Let's put one of those over there. Because <clears throat> I at least want to taste the... Um, You know, and I don't even need both of these fried rices. Oh, there's a container that I ain't gonna be able to use. Huh. So let's block out the coldest. Oh! <laughs> let's see. Let me move stuff around. I'm gonna do a little video too. Oh gosh, I hope you guys are doing well today. I really hope so. Because, you know, uh, I worry about the world right now. I just saw, and I think I've already kind of heard of it, but did y'all know that there's polio back in, like, New York? You know? Thanks a lot, anti-vaxxers. Really, thanks a lot. You know, polio was like, it was contained for a long time there. You know, people had the little polio, like, scar on their arm and stuff. Polio vaccine. And now, <clears throat> you know, there's cases of it all through New York and stuff. Oh, man. Like, what the hell? Uh, this is the orange chicken. Pork fried rice. And, here, let me move my... Soup. Soup. And pork fried rice. Oh. And this is the house special chicken. Ooh. Can y'all look at that? It's got all them peppers. It's got pineapple. Mm. And onions. You know, get a good look at the orange chicken. <laughs> mm. That over there. This over here. Ah, oh, so much food. And can't complain though. <clears throat> I cannot complain about anything today. I should speed that crap up. I'm taking forever, Katie girl. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and say pause, but I should have already paused. All right. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of food. Oh, I'm excited though. I'm excited. Oh, it's been a, it's, it's been really good. Let me tell you. Um, I had been going with uh, Golden China a lot, but when uh, China Agogo started using these containers, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Cause I, I, I've been wanting to get some like containers like this to do the overnight oats and things like that in 
and um, I've got I've got glass meal prep containers, but I want to save those for other types of things. Okay, let me try the fried rice first. Mm -hmm. I love the fried rice. I like the pork. Mmm. Mm hmm. Always decent. Always good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Orange chicken. Oh, my breading's soggy and comes off. Mm. <laughs> oh, mmm. Absolutely adore orange chicken. I really do. Mm -hmm. mm. So the house special chicken, if I'm not mistaken, it's probably like general general's chicken, but they also have general's chicken, so I don't know. But this is kind of like that. Mm. 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 This one's a little bit crispier. Mm. Mm. There's more sauce on the bottom. Mm. Oh yeah, there we go. Mm. Ooh. And I love this spicy pineapple. Mm. Mm. Oh man. All right. Man, that is a big chunk of walnuts. Man. <laughs> I don't want to eat that. But I also want to like spread it out. Like, will it break? No. Dang. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mmm. That was crispy. Mmm. Wow, okay. All right. Mmm. Mm. It's kind of a light sauce. I'm guessing this is the sauce for the little egg rolls. Hmm. Hmm. This vegetable. Hmm. There's little glass noodles in there, or some kind of noodle. They're kind of transparent noodles. Carrot and cabbage. I'm not sure what else, but mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't know if y'all can see in there. Mmm. 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 Mm. 
Oh, okay. I love Chinese food. Mm. Now this sauce, I'm guessing it's just the sweet and sour sauce, but it is so thick, or it was really thick like the, the last time I had it. Oh man, it just, it coats everything. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I've been in a really good mood the last few days. I mean, really kind of the last week. <laughs> um, I didn't even mention it in my last video. But <clears throat> I had a guest recently. <laughs> And I know I mentioned him to you. The fella that I had known for like over a decade that I was gonna meet when I lived in Virginia for a short time. But he lived on one side of Virginia and I was on the other side of Virginia. So it just never happened. Oh. But he came. Uh -huh. mm. And <clears throat> we had a nice little visit. Some of y'all are probably wondering why I'm wearing the really long sleeves today. Mm. And the, the shirt that I had on in my last video, it covered up my bruises. Let me put it to you that way. <laughs> mm. I'm still bad. It's been like a week. Like, holy hell. I had a little bit too much fun. <laughs> mm. It was nice though. It was nice. Um, <laughs> so there's that, but anyway, that's one reason I'm in a good mood. Um, nothing to complain about. Um, but also, I've, um, just a few days ago, I got a new book and I got an audio book, you know, cause I don't know why <laughs> I'm just, I could hold a book and read it just fine, but my eyes are a little, uh, not so great and I have to wear the reading glasses and, mm, and I'm just kicking back in my chair and listening to an audio book is kind of nice actually. Uh, there's this one fellow reading, and then he's also joined in in certain parts by the author. Mm. Stephen King. Favorite author. Um, he just had a new book come out <clears throat> called Fairy Tale. And the entire read for the book is like a little bit over 24 hours. And I'm already, it's been like three days and I'm already 10 hours in. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed. <clears throat> it's a really good book. I'm really, really happy I gave it a chance. And I've already like used my other credit. I had two credits to get free books on Audible. And my other credit, I got the next in line of the Anne Rice books, The Vampire Chronicles. It's uh, Prince Lestat, I think. Yes, it is. Uh, I think that's the one I'm on. I actually bought the book, uh, but I started reading it and I got like into part of the like first chapter and it was just so long-winded. You know, Lestat talking about himself. And I'm like, good Lord. So I figure if somebody else reads it, <laughs> Maybe I'll, you know, be able to get through it. 
Mm -mm. But I'm going to finish this book first. <clears throat> Fairy tale is, is so far really good. Mm. It's uh, so far about this young kid, Charlie Reed. Mm. He has kind of a troubled youth. It's like family trouble. Um, and he's a teenager in high school later on. And he befriends an older gentleman and his dog. And, yeah, then it, a uh, little ways in, it, it starts to get, you know, fairy tale ish <laughs> So, it's a good book so far. I'm digging it. I mean, in a title fairy tale, you're kind of waiting for the fairy tale stuff. Like, oh, boy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's see, there we go. I got a jalapeno pepper on that piece. I try to avoid the big red peppers, but I don't mind the jalapenos too bad. A little spicy spice. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm. Do a little bit of my soup. Oh man, that's so good. Mmm, hot and sour soup, man. They're not kidding. It's hot, but it's not spicy hot for me. Mm. It's more sour than anything. Oh, and it's so thick. It's like as thick as the egg drop soup. I'm guessing that's cornstarch. I'm not sure, though. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You know, a lot of people don't use these little little chips, but I like them. And it's like a nice little texture. I'm about to pick that soup up and get into oh. It's like almost so hot it burns my hands. Mmm. This is what I'm gonna finish today. This soup right here. I mean, not on the video. <laughs> Y'all aren't going to see me eat all this. But this is my dinner for the night. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> Their egg drop soup is really good. But they make the one with the corn in it. I don't know why they put corn in the egg drop soup. Some people do, some places do, not all places do. I prefer the no corn version. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Been doing that and you know, the usual watching shows with Susan in the evening. Mm. She's getting ready to retire from teaching. Not long now. She's only got a few weeks left. I am so happy for her. Mm. She's ready to be out of there. Mm. But, um, <clears throat> we've been watching the new season of Riverdale. It's a really fun show. Mm. Mm. And ironically, this season has had several nods to Stephen King stories. And then I found on Hulu a new series called uh, Storm of the Century, which is Stephen King. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and all of this happened after I had already gotten the Stephen King book. 
but if the well it is going well the uh, audiobook listening is going very well for me so I'm gonna be motivated to do a lot more like listening to books versus watching shows which I have plenty of favorite shows that I'll, I'll definitely get into but I'm gonna take a lot of more, a lot more time to just kick back relax and listen Mm. It's almost meditative. You know, and some people prefer to like hold the book and do the pages and do all the reading in their own head because when you're reading a book, well, for me, reading a book, I get the, it's like a movie playing in the back of my head. A very vivid movie. Um, and I was worried that listening to, to somebody else read the words rather than reading the words myself would take away from that visual thing in my head. Not at all. Not at all. I recently in the last year discovered that I have something called hyperphantasia. Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. So... Um, basically, when I picture something in my mind, it's extremely vivid. Like, when I... Okay, this is the test. Okay, imagine an apple. Okay. The colors. Um, how does it smell? How does it feel in your hand? Mm -hmm. Is there light, like, reflecting off of it? I mean, just... Just imagine an apple. I mean, and this is what I would do. I would, I would just, I would imagine it in such perfect detail. I mean, even little like freckles on the apple or something. Um, and then I even would take a bite of the apple in my, in my mind and I can taste it. I can feel the juice. You know what I'm saying? It's freaking weird, but Susan is so jealous of my dream life because not only can I eat the food and taste it and enjoy it, when I have the cigs, I get the full experience, like the full experience. You know what I'm saying? Not only the sights, the smells, the taste, the feels, the feels, if you know what I mean, like boom, to completion. So happy dreaming. <laughs> I mean, yeah, all my celebrity crushes, wee, you know, and it's so weird because you just know that that's exactly how it would be because there's also this other thing, uh, there's this little, another little like test, like a psychological type test <clears throat> where your tongue just knows what everything feels like and tastes like. Like, <clears throat> if I imagine, like, licking the wall right now, my mouth actually knows what that wall would taste like, smell like, and feel like on my tongue. If I lick the leg of the chair over there, I know exactly what it would feel like in my mouth. I mean, and it's so weird. I mean, just, just do that. Imagine, like, like anything. <laughs> like, think of a pencil, you know, or look at a pencil and imagine what that pencil would, would taste like and smell like. And the tongue just knows. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Shrimp and tofu. Mmm. So anyway, hyperphasia, hyperphantasia. Fantasia is such a beautiful word. Mmm. Some people don't have it at all. Some people actually, they can't like vividly imagine things. I know people like that too, you know? And it's like, oh, I feel so bad. You know, some people dream in black and white. I dream in full color or full experience. Like I'm literally in an alternate universe. Mm. I love that for me. Mm. Mm. It was a big hunk of crab. 
Mm. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. oh. But, yeah. Oh man, I totally forgot my whole point. <laughs> <coughs> I was talking about Riverdale. Oh, and how Susan's not is getting ready to retire from teaching. Oh, that's that's so good. I'm so glad for her. Mm. Mm. <laughs> My brain is all over the place. Mm. But anyway, I'm in a really good mood. Um, I mean, I'm in a good mood, but I kind of haven't been feeling, feeling that great. You know, pain-wise, it's been really bad lately. You know, it's just the way it is. You know, nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, lose weight, lose weight, but... Pain's not gonna go anywhere overnight. You know, I could lose, you know, 10 pounds a day for the next 10 days, and the pain's still gonna be there, so. Mm. Mm. I mean, it is what it is. But mentally, I feel fine. Mm. Mm. I saw something on my nose. Mm. Oh, that was a hot piece. <laughs> mm. uh, ooh. Mm. 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 But, um, <clears throat> so we've been watching Riverdale, and we've been watching movies, just movies. Mm. Uh, we watched uh, Thor Love and Thunder the other night. It was really good. I liked it. She did not like it very much. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's like, Disney has ruined Marvel. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I felt like I was watching a kid's movie. I'm like, yeah, kind of. There's a lot of kids in it, so. There's a lot of, I don't know. It was, uh, it was like almost too funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the way it's kind of been going lately, you know. I loved it. I just loved it. Mm. Of course, Thor is my second favorite superhero. Mm. Superman, number one, still DC. And Thor and then the Hulk. Oh, I've been watching She-Hulk. It's been really good. I'm liking it. Mm. New season of freaking Morty started. I got to see the first episode. I just bought the whole season on Amazon. I'm like, the whole season, excellent. The whole season hasn't dropped yet, so I've got to wait. I've still got to wait, even though I paid for it. Mm. There's also the new Game of Thrones. Um, Blood of the Dragon, the episodes I've seen of that, fabulous, love it. Um, 
And last night, like after midnight, like really late, I watched, oh, and I'm sorry for all this snort, snorting. I don't know what it is with my sinuses lately. It's just, it's so annoying. And I know it annoys you guys too. Uh, I'll get ready to blow in a minute. Mm. But uh, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, so good so good i'm very i'm very thankful that all these excellent shows are coming out <laughs> okay can't stand it anymore pause so i can blow pause okay Woo, i'm glad i paused because not only did i blow my nose i had to go pee oh it took me a full minute and a half to catch my breath mm-hmm Lord have mercy. Oh, shoot. Pause. Okay. <laughs> okay, finally. Uh, pretty sure my food's still going to be warm because it was hot. Yes, indeed. It's even hotter on the bottom. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, there's lots of sauce on the bottom. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, the breading on the orange chicken is not quite the same. Or maybe it's just, I don't know, it's good. It's just a little more soggy and kind of falling apart. Mmm. Mmm, the sauce. Very tasty. Mmm. Mm. Yep. I'm very happy with the way life is going right now. Um, yesterday I got a grocery delivery and I replenished my snack cord. Oh, and somebody wanted me to show you guys my flex water. Let me try to, I don't know, the end is not going to be messy. <laughs> but this is it. Somebody handmade this. It's like bolted together right there. It's leather. What the hell? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I was like, why? Why would you buy um a stupid like? handmade leather fly swatter you know but it made more sense to get one of those electric ones huh. but I rarely get a fly in here you just so I had a gnat today just one gnat and I hadn't had a gnat in days but because the door was open one just like and it was a teeny teeny tiny baby one and I was like oh you <laughs> but I haven't seen it since though. 
Mm. 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 week mm, probably a little bit longer than that it was really really achy even when my friend was here I was like I was sore it was like hard to move but you know um but I'm kind of feeling like I don't know I don't know what the hell it's just not normal I mean I, I usually of course I have my joint pain and then the sciatica nerve pain going on. But also, it's like just any kind of light activity. Getting up and down, walking, whatever. You know, and the muscles burn. They like, I'm like, damn, you, you haven't worked that hard. Why are you burning? <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. So, it's kind of weird. But, um... I was kind of worried maybe I should take another COVID test, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> my breathing and stuff like that isn't, it's not any worse than usual. So I don't think it's that, but who knows? So I'm wondering what it's like the second time for people. Mm -hmm. I still haven't gotten my booster yet. <clears throat> mm. Oh, I mentioned my snack cord. <laughs> I actually got some fruit this time too. I got cookies, snack cakes, fruit. Mmm. I didn't get any chips because I still had like the remainder of two bags of like tortilla chips so I got a one thing of cheese sauce <clears throat> it's like oh that'll make those you know hard tortilla chips go down a little easier with some sauce mmm mmm Three favorite things today hot and sour soup <clears throat> the pork fried rice is so good right now oh mm. uh, honey walnut shrimp, shrimp. Mm. what's that word it's busting <laughs> where did that word come from y'all tell me Mm. There's new slang terms like every year. <laughs> mm. Mm, it's so good. There's like parts of it that are really, really crispy. Coated with that sauce. And they have um, little noodles down there soaking up the sauce. But... Mm. 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 I'm regretting the orange chicken. Love it. <clears throat> but I'm thinking like three sweet things were kind of like 
Not a good idea. <laughs> mm. I tried their pepper beef and I didn't like it. It was like very, very pepper heavy, you know, just so it was like I had almost a whole container of just bell peppers and a few pieces of beef strewn around. The beef was really good, um, but not as good as I would have hoped. It was it was kind of bready, and I know they like coat it, but you coat it before you cook it, and like tenderizes it or whatever. And it was very tender, but had that coating. It was like not so great. I was like, oh, this isn't this isn't this isn't exactly what I wanted. I ate it though. Mm. I ate every pepper. But another thing you can order, another two like non like sweet items on there. They have a, I think shrimp chow mein. I don't like the chow mein from the Chinese food restaurants. I just really don't. Because basically it's lo mein and it's like really soft noodles and I don't really care for it. Um, but they also have Mongolian beef, which I used to like Mongolian beef. I like the flavor, but I'm pretty sure it'll be very like green onion heavy, green onion or onions or even pep peppers. Who knows what they're going to put in it <clears throat> versus, excuse me, versus meat. <clears throat> um, but I'm thinking next time I get my little Chinese selection here. I'm gonna do the the house chicken, which I just love the house chicken, and the the um, kung pao. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the kung pao. What was that? Oh, it was somebody on Messenger, Facebook Messenger. They're like, "Hello, are you there?" I'm like, no, I'm not. About for a minute, I got texted. You know, Susan and I usually get together about this time of day to watch shows. I had to look to make sure it was recording. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, it's recording. Mmm. 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 So, I'm getting full. Mmm. China a go go. Enjoyed my book. Been watching some fun shows. Like I said, that uh, Lord of the Rings show is really good, and so is the new um, Game of Thrones spinoff. Mm. 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 Box up some stuff. <clears throat> Over the orange chicken. These containers are great. They are great. Mm -hmm. oh, 
stuff on me. No, it's not sticky. Should I get over here? I should just eat those, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm. I'll close these up. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Teetering on the edge of full. Super full. I got those. Mm. I'll probably eat both of those in the next two days. And then I have all this left over. Mm. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday I have food. Mmm. <laughs> Tofu, give me that. I lost it. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You know, I considered doing a video with my snack cord. And I was like, I just don't want to open everything, if you know what I mean. And I've got stuff stashed in the pantry area. And then I keep a few things over here next to me to kind of, you know, have a little bit <clears throat> in the evening so I don't like over snack or overeat. <sighs> For example, last night, I got a whole big thing of peanut butter cookies 
from the uh, bakery at Smith's. I ate one cookie. There's like, it's like crap tons of cookies in there. I ate one. Talk about self-restraint. And then <clears throat> I opened a bag of the Hershey's Nuggets that I just got. And I got milk chocolate ones and dark chocolate with almonds. And I opened the dark chocolate with almonds one. I took five out last night and I only ate two. Mm. But I opened one of my boxes of snack cakes and it is these Hostess Lemon Bunt Cakes. I've been trying to get a hold of those for weeks. And they're little tiny, little tiny Bunt Cakes. And they're actually tastier than I thought they'd be. Mm. The lemon was light, like a light lemon flavor, but it was definitely there and they were definitely good. Uh, probably would have liked the, the lemon cupcakes better because I know I love the hostess, the orange cupcakes. Those are good. So citrus cakes, I love. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I still got chocolate over here. <clears throat> I've got three nuggets. <laughs> Three nuggets from last night. <laughs> so, the nuggets, they actually like the chocolate. The hell, is chocolate supposed to be an appetite suppressant? I mean, okay. Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> I also had a kiwi and a peach yesterday. Peaches are in season. And it was the ripest, juiciest, sweetest peach I've had in such a long time. Uh, they're sitting out on my dining room table along with my kiwis ripening. And bananas ripening. But this kiwi was mostly ripe today. So this is the kiwi I'll be eating today. <clears throat> and I don't bother peeling the kiwi. You can eat the skin. You just wash it off. And you can eat it. It's very tart. Like all the all the vitamins, a lot of the vitamin C is in the skin, more than likely. Because kiwi is definitely tart. But these are like the, the golden kiwis. So they're very it was very sweet. So good. Um I am planning at some point really soon to order a uh, Whole Foods order because I want more fresh peaches but I especially want figs. Figs are in season. I don't know if I'll get any but they have like three different kinds of figs and I want figs. Really bad. I haven't had figs in years and years and years. I've had like fig preserves but that's not the same. As a nice, fresh, juicy fig. Oh, I had a friend years ago, or friends. Mm. They had some fig trees in their yard. <clears throat> fresh, juicy figs. Mm. But so that's on the agenda. I was talking to Nick the other day. And we were talking about food and cravings and all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I am really, really craving fruit lately. <clears throat> Just craving it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe my body is just like, please eat something fresh and delicious. <laughs> I mean, I love food. Other people cooked, obviously. That's like my go-to, but... Something really fresh and delicious. Oh, and I'm putting corn on my Whole Foods list too. Corn in the husk, cause you know, it's corn. <laughs> and I've got really good butter. I've got that good Irish butter. Um, so I want some butter corn. And I'm gonna cook it in a microwave and then cook it in a frying pan in butter. 
the whole like cob. I want to get it toasty. I don't know. I may or may not do that. Who knows? But just have a couple pieces of corn one day for dinner. Oh, and they have heirloom tomatoes. So I've tried to get heirloom tomatoes at Smith's, but it never happens. It's just them hothouse tomatoes that aren't very ripe and delicious. Oh, but my granddaddy used to grow those big beef eater tomatoes and, you know, real knobby looking ones. <laughs> they, they were so good. Mm. Oh, man. Those were the days. <laughs> Like good fresh vegetables out of the garden. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm done with this. Mm. Very happy, very, very happy. Mm. Oh, that was good. And I'm not eating my kiwi on camera. I'm gonna have that a little bit later because I'm actually pretty full right now. But mm. Mm. that soup like dried on there. <laughs> it's like dried that fast. But mm, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes, we have a fortune. What is it? Mm. 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 Opportunity is knocking on your door. Okay. Well, unfortunately, unless I know you're coming, I don't answer my door. Don't answer it. I turn the light off and I get real quiet. And I look at the door and I will them to go away. Go away. We don't want none. Mmm. Because, like, <clears throat> who's going to be knocking at your door at 2 o'clock in the morning if you didn't order something? Or in the middle of the day, for that matter. It can either be some kind of religious nonsense, some kind of pol politician. The last time somebody knocked at my door, they started off with the whole, like, religious, like, trying to welcome me down to their church and whatnot. It's like... You know, even if I could go out of the house right now, I don't want to go to your church. Thank you, but no thank you. You know, and even if I was a very religious person, even a Christian, I never felt the need to go to a church. Not since I was a little kid and got uh, guilted and shamed into being baptized three different times. You know, you know, that, that's what it is. I think that's what kind of turned me off to the whole thing. You know, I just, I felt so guilty for being human and having thoughts and feelings that were natural for young people to have, you know, you know, getting to know my body and exploring things and whatnot. And it's like, I felt so guilty about the things that I was doing. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to hell. <laughs> you know, the threat of, of hell and eternal damnation on kids like that, I feel like that's child abuse. I'm sorry, but that's not cool. That's not right. They're terrified. And then, you know, every little thing they do, they're terrified. I mean, it's it's one thing, you know. I, you know, parent the way you want. It's fine, but I think as far as religious stuff, you know, goes, that kids should be able to figure that out on their own as well. I mean, you can always, like, share your beliefs, and but, but you should always, like, offer the whole story, more information. I don't know. 
My grandparents didn't even go to church. They put me on the Sunday school bus, sent me to church so they could have a little alone time on Sunday morning. And here I am, you know, they're calling out, you know, uh, for people to come up and, and uh, repent and, you know, all that stuff. And it's like, I just felt compelled to go almost every time. Like, like I was going to confession or something. I should have been Catholic. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's child, childhood trauma had something to do with church as well. Yeah. By the time I got to be a teenager, I was like reading other mythologies and stuff like that. Uh, other theological texts. You know, I was getting like the full story, you know, as much as I could. I was reading parts of the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Apocrypha, the Book of Enoch and whatnot, you know, learning all these things that weren't in the King James Version, you know. Pretty sure King James was gay. So, <clears throat> do with that what you will. I should probably Google that to make sure. <laughs> Google. Like, oh, dude. Uh, mm, let's see. Oh, yeah, I was going to get my free burger from Red Robin today, but they decided they didn't want to deliver to me. I'm like, oh, no delivery available. It says delivery is available. Why isn't delivery available? I would have got a free burger. <laughs> and it would have been a lot less food than this, I'm sure, but... Anyway, King James, and I'm not King Hames, King James, okay, question mark, mm, where does that story come from? Well, it's King James, a homosexual, okay, no, okay. Is the King James and the History of Homosexuality. 13 LGBTQ royals you didn't learn about in history. Okay, so both King James the Sixth of Scotland and King James the First of England. Oh, open up. That's NBC News. Okay, never mind, never mind. Anyway, but that wouldn't that be weird? You know, I was like, you could take anything that he had a hand in with a grain of salt if it's true. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I, I ran across it probably on some TikTok somewhere. And I was like, oh, facts. But you know, you should always check your facts. I mean, that's what Google's for. But then there's so many articles you like don't even know which one's which, you know, what's true and what's not true. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah, church did a number on me. Mm. So we don't do that. Um, basically, the, the person that was asking, you know, I told her straight up, you know, sorry, I wouldn't be interested. You know, I kind of, I, I identify as uh, agnostic, non-religious, possibly pagan, but thank you but no thank you and uh you know, she's like okay she didn't like push the issue she went about her business <clears throat> but it's like stuff like that you know uh i was uncomfortable i'm sure she was uncomfortable so if if i'm not expecting a package or something like that you know it's best just not to answer the door for me i learned that a long time ago just leave it if it's important you know, I'll find out later. <laughs> Peek outside the door, see if there's a package. <clears throat> but anyway, you guys, thank you for spending time with me today. This turned out to be a longer video than I had anticipated. Um, whew, but I love you guys very much. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye now.